Hello everybody. I have one of our alphabet books from school. So today we're going to work on the letter G. Letter G. This story is called Gorilla Be Good. There's the gorilla. Uh-oh. He needs to be good. Let me read the back cover where we get a little clue about what this story is about. Will Gorilla be a good house guest? You'll giggle at the goofy things Gorilla does when he comes to visit. Sounds good. It is by Maria Fleming and illustrated by Matt Phillips. So here we go, Gorilla Be Good. On Monday, I went to the zoo. Guess who followed me home? A gorilla. I asked my mom if he could stay. If he is a good guest, mom said. On Tuesday, gorilla broke granny's glasses and gabbed on the phone all day. And the, the boy is saying, Gorilla, be good. On Wednesday, Gorilla trampled the grapes growing in the garden. And the boy is saying, Gorilla, be good. On Thursday, Gorilla gobbled up a gooseberry pie, a gallon of ice cream, and other goodies. Now well, what does the boy say? Gorilla, be good. On Friday, Gorilla dressed like a ghost and scared the goldfish. So what does the gorilla say as the ghost? Boo! And what does the boy say? He says, Gorilla, please be good. On Saturday, Gorilla glued gumdrops to Dad's galoshes. Galoshes is another word for rubber boots that you might wear when it's raining. And what does the boy say? Gorilla, please be good. On Sunday, Gorilla invited a gang of friends over. The gorillas played golf and other games. They made a great mess. Let's see. And the boy says, Gorilla, please, please be good. That gorilla must go, Mom said. He has been a terrible guest. And the boy says, Goodbye, gorilla. Good thing he wasn't a guest during this quarantine, or you wouldn't be allowed to kick him out. Monday, I went to visit Gorilla at the zoo. Guess who followed me home? Uh-oh. And Mom says, good grief. What kind of animal is that? A goat. Goat. That starts with G. Uh-oh. Now the goat will make a terrible mess, right? 
G is for gorillas on the loose. G is for gopher, goldfish, and goose. G is for granny, giggle, and glass. G is for gumdrops, grapes, and grass. Hooray for G, big and small. The grandest, greatest letter of all. Now let's take a look at the page where there's lots of things that start with G. So how many things can you find that begin with the letter G? What you can do now is pause the video, get a piece of paper, and try to spell the words that are in the picture that you feel start with letter G. Then your family can help you to spell them correctly. Make a picture of those things. You should be able to find at least five things in this picture that start with the letter G. I hope you enjoyed our story, Gorilla Be Good. All right, another activity for you to do is the story ended with the boy bringing home a goat, right? So you can draw and write and imagine what kinds of messes will the goat do in the house? Like the gorilla did, but think of some ideas that a goat might do. And try as best as you can to make it be things that start with G. So the goat can gobble up all the grass in the backyard. And think of other things that the goat can do. The storybook's pattern started on a Monday and went through the days of the week. So you can make your own letter G book, your own adventure of the goat and what does he do. Have some fun and work on this during the week. So look at the pictures and find things that start with G and make a list. Draw and write about what kind of mess the goat would do or make your own letter G book of a goat coming in, or pick another animal. A gopher starts with a G, or animals that are green. My favorite color, green. So pick animals that are green. Maybe you want a green frog, and he comes visiting in your house, and what will he do on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, and keep on going. So lots of ideas and activities for you to do during this week, okay? And by Friday, Send me a picture and share with me something that you have done that has to do with letter G. So you have a great week.